He was the Marine turned MP who transformed the Liberal Democrats into a formidable force in British politics. The founding leader formed from the Liberals and the SDP in 1988. Paddy Ashdown took the Lib Dems from 20 MPs to 50 and ultimately turned them from a party of protest into a party of government as a loyal supporter of the 2010 coalition. He had great uh, enthusiasm, energy, optimism, drive. He was very much Mr. Action Man, you know, the style that he acquired in the military, he carried into politics very effectively. Uh, and he did great things for our party. Born in India in 1941, Jeremy Ashdown was raised in Northern Ireland and schooled in England, hence the nickname Paddy that would stick with him for the rest of his life. He joined the Royal Marines and served in the Special Boat Service before later becoming a diplomat. He became MP for Yeovil in 1983, a lively, likeable figure. And a Happy New Year to you too. <laughs> whose career and marriage survived revelations of an affair with his secretary in the 1980s. He was close to Labour leader Tony Blair, who he'd wanted to form a coalition government with before John Major's Conservative Party was defeated in 1997. Tonight, Mr Major said in government, Paddy Ashdown was my opponent, but in life he was a much-valued friend. Tony Blair called him one of the most talented politicians never to hold high office. There are some politicians who've got it and some who don't, but this is a man who oozed charisma and used it for, for good effect. There are plenty of people who are charismatic in politics and they tend to use it for the wrong reasons. Um, I know it's these days in, in these times of populism, but Paddy Ashdown was somebody who used his, his charisma, his ability to move people from one place to another. Um, for, for good. Most party leaders are either carried out or kicked out. He stood down as party leader in 1999 but remained a passionate campaigner both as EU representative to Bosnia and later to keep Britain in the EU, tweeting only four weeks ago that Brexit was a shambles. After being diagnosed with cancer in November, Paddy Ashdown thanked his family, friends and Yeovil's NHS hospital for their support. This does not merit a fuss, he said. It makes me, as so often in my life, very lucky.